It's a rare treat today. You guys get to see my hair comb. So listen. I'm tired of seeing these videos. Tears for Obama. Everybody are crying because Obama's the president. Um, the man did a good job in getting elected. He put it down. Now it's time for him to be like every other politician, every other president, and prove that you can't do what you say you're going to do all the time, but you can say you can do everything pretty much anytime you want to say you can do everything. Now, there was a lot of white people crying for Obama, too. They was crying because there's actually now change in our country. They're crying because they wanted to see equality. They're crying because they understand the truth about the way life is. Some of these white folks are crying because they feel now that there's a chance for there to be some peace amongst the races. And it starts with black folks and white folks becoming one group of people. And maybe this is that symbol that they needed to see, that now the demons of our forefathers have finally been rinsed. I don't know. All I know is this. There's hate between a lot of people. There's good and bad. There's ugly. There's vicious. And they're just flat out sad and pitiful. But there are people out there willing to hurt people and do dumb shit for any reason. Any reason to be stupid, there's some people willing to go there. But all these videos, damn, am I getting old or what? I shit you not, when I was younger, I had hair right, this whole thing was covered, this whole block right here had hair in it, I, forget it. The moral of the story is this. Times have changed, and sometimes people cry when the old guard is changed. When they're tired of seeing the same old stuff, or when that ain't going to happen no more. When that won't go down, when people are watching you. So white people cried too. Some cried for joy, some cried for pain. Black people cried too. Some cried for, for um, grief. And some cried for, um, what's the word I want to use? I always get mixed up, but I get relief. People cry. Oh. I know one thing. The very day after the election, I was going to the store to get a beer. And I'm in the store, and this lady runs in. You have any newspapers? Young white girl. I need to say white and black because this video is one of those color specifics. So young white girl, I need the video, I need the, I need newspapers. How many newspapers? Guys, says, all the newspapers are gone. There are no newspapers left. Obama, Obama. And I'm like, damn, shit, I gotta go get some newspapers. So I drive down the street. And I noticed a lady running in the middle of the street. I'm like, damn, she's going over to the newspaper stand. Get the newspapers. So I pull up in front of her, jump out the car, da, 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 grabbed all my change because I had quarters. You know, I'm broke. I ain't worked in a year. I had my quarters for the beer. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> yes, I did. So then I took the quarters out of my pocket, you know, and dollar in here because it was Sunday. Got this paper. What was it, Sunday? No, it was, I forget it. I got the damn paper, okay? When the Sunday was it? No. So I got the paper, and I opened, I opened the, the paper thing up, and I grabbed all, all two papers out of there. Then I opened the San Francisco Chronicle. I grabbed the two San Francisco Chronicles out. I got home. I said, "What the hell? I'm gonna do with these two newspapers? We're gonna frame them." And then I'm like, "One of them's wrinkled because it's in front." Then I began to read the newspaper. It was truly an historical moment when Barack Obama became the first president of a darker color in our recent history, in, in our lifetime. 
And you know, like I said, a lot of people cry. A lot of white people cry because, oh my God, the Negro is president. Oh my goodness, we're finally equal. A lot of black people cry, oh my God, a Negro is president. Whew. Now I hope they don't try to kill it. Well, the moral of that whole jumble screw story I just told is that people often jump on the bandwagon. And when they jump on the bandwagon, it's good, it's bad, it's for good, it's for bad. It doesn't matter. They just do it. Might have to go pick my son up from damn school. I don't know. Check the clock. Yes, he should have been out of school by now. So I gotta make sure. So, when it comes to Barack Obama, good luck, Barack. And we need you to usher in a new industrial age. If you don't hurry up and send people to work, all your accomplishments will mean nothing. And your whole time that you spent to get to this point where you are will be looked at as the president that talked big and delivered nothing. For the first time in history, all magnifying glasses are turned towards the White House with the black man in it. I just wish, as president, he gets the opportunity, the same opportunities that the last president had. My problem with that is he won't have the blank check that the last president had because there's no money in a bank account. He will not be able to fulfill what he says he is because of the lack of money in the bank account. But we as a people, black and white, Mexican or whatever, need to stand by the only president we got. And that's the end of the questions and the answers in this segment. The rest is up to you. You can listen to the man. We take him for face value. You can listen to the man, ridicule him, and hate him for his uh, policies. You can check to see if he's screwing around with some other women. You can poke and prod into his life. But you can't change the fact that for one moment in time, one moment in history, the status quo did not matter. The status quo did not have any say. Life has changed for some. Life has got better for some. Life has got worse for some. Life, regardless of whoever is the President of the United States of America, doesn't matter. Life will continue without either one of these guys without you, without me, life will continue let's just be respectful of each other regardless of what colors we are and understand this when the saucers start falling out the sky it ain't gonna matter what color you are When the bombs fly over the borders, it's not going to matter what color you are. In the end of a great catastrophe, the content of your character will rise. Whatever happens to us in the future, good or bad, it is our destiny to respect each other. It's our destiny to become one group of people, one nation, one power. Let's respect each other, and maybe one day, my goal is to see an open society. Americans respecting Americans. Maybe that dream will come true. Until then, you've been tubed.